Well, welcome to the third episode of the Poking Lounge. Thanks for coming to hang out with us. My name is Jamie. I'm James Arizona. And we're going to be talking about uh, some few things. We're actually going to be bringing up some Sword and Shield news. We got some TCG stuff. We got some Pokemon Go. Let's kick it off. We also got some progress on our RCS updates. So I'm really excited to talk about that. Mm-hmm. So what's been going with you this week, James? This week has been really exciting. I picked up a few new cards. Um, I've been getting a lot of hours in on RCS. So I think right now I'm at five stars. Um, it's been pretty cool. Uh, a lot of stuff happening in the Discord. Lots of Pokemon news this week, so I'm really excited to get that covered. But what's been going on with you, Jamie? Not a whole lot. Just playing Arceus, and, you know, I beat the story, finally. <laughs> um, oh, man, I'm so jealous. <laughs> well, I put a lot of hours into it. I just kind of hammered down on it, and uh, I almost completed the uh, – I caught almost all the Pokemon in the Pokedex. Okay. Um, yeah, I have a couple of the research things completed. Um, I think I'm at eight stars. So I've been playing a lot of it. Um, not too much with TCG. I haven't gotten any cards this week. I did get a couple of eBay things. So I might show those off whenever I get them. So I'll keep can't that wait secret to see them. <laughs> can't, can't wait. Mm-hmm. Oh, we got a lot of news to cover this week in the Pokemon world. Um, we got some Sword and Shield news. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. So uh, we have an event in Sword and Shield right now where you can get the Galarian Birds shiny. All right. Okay. So the only way, well, the only thing you have to do is you have to go into the uh, international challenges and sign up mm-hmm. for it. That's it. You got to go one battle, they're yours. So there are actually dates you have to do those. Um, the, the challenges run from... Let's see, the registration is for February's challenge runs from February 3rd to the 17th. The battles will take place from February 18th to the 20th. Uh, The March registration runs from February 24th to March 10th. And then the battles will take place 11th through the 13th of March. And then for April, you can register from from March 31st to April 14th. And then the battles will take place April 15th to the 17th. So you have to register for each one, each month, and then you'll get one. So the first one that you'll get is, um, I believe, yeah, it's Moltres. So okay. you'll get, the, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me back it up. It's Articuno you get in February. So go now because it's on right now. Go register. All you have to do is go participate in one battle, and then you get your shiny articuno in the mystery gift okay oh, man. and then you'll do the next one is zapdos and then after that it's small trace so um it's looking like the moves you can get with them articuno will have freezing glare hurricane psycho cut and psycho shift which those are pretty good moves on them um the zapdos will have uh thunderous kick drill peck Reversal and focus energy, which is pretty good because you want to have that reversal on him whenever you're taking those hits. He'll hit them back double. Uh, with Moltres, you'll have Fiery Wrath, Hurricane, Sucker Punch, and Nasty Plot. So okay. those are pretty good setups with those. Well, I'm excited that we're going to get the shiny versions. Um, to be honest with you, I really didn't like the Galarian colorways for for the uh, for the bird. So. Mm-hmm. Now that they're going to be reverting back to like the original looks, I'm I'm pretty soaked about it. So, you didn't like Moltres with the black and the red. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here's the thing: he looked it fine. I did not like Zapdos, and I mm-hmm. did not really care for Articuno. Mm-hmm. That's, That's fair. Yeah, I don't know. That's fair. I'm, Zapdos I'm a purple was just guy. Ostrich. Yeah, I'm a purple guy, and that Articuno does not look good purple. <laughs> It doesn't. I so the blue too. is it's... the blur, the blue on that Articuno now, that shiny one is pretty cool. Um, for the Zapdos, I mean, the Zapdos, the Galarian Zapdos is my favorite out of the three. So getting the yellow back will be pretty cool. Definitely. Yeah. How far are you in Sword and Shield? We haven't talked about Sword and Shield or anything for a while. It's been out for a couple of years, and it kind of seems like it was put on the back burner for, you know, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. But it's so, actually the main battle 
like game right now. So what what do you think? So to be honest with you, I really enjoyed Sword and Shield. Um, my starter that I picked was uh, was Grookey. Um, I thought it was a really fun game. I loved the storyline. Um, it was exciting. Um, I mean, some things were a little bit repetitive, just like in previous Pokemon games. Now that I look back to it mm-hmm. since playing Arceus, but I mean, it was really cool. Um, I completed it. I got a few shinies. Um, I love the the Dynamax adventures. Um, haven't played too much on the um, on the expansion pack, though. To be honest with you, I bought it, but I haven't I haven't played it. Mm. They're yep. pretty fun. Yeah, I I beat that game. I played all the expansions. I completed all the Pokédexes. I'm I completed that game 100. percent I loved it. <laughs> So That's I also picked Grookey. So <laughs> we, see, uh, we picked see. the same starter. Yeah, he's the best one. I don't know. I don't. I'm super excited for the new tens coming out this spring. We got Espeon, Umbreon, and Sylveon. I say they mm-hmm. look beautiful. I love the design. Um, I can't wait to see what packs are are going to be inside them. What do you think about the new tens? I like them. I'm definitely going to get all three of them. I need those cards for my sets anyway, and. I try to get all the tins, so I do like those ones. I collect sealed products, so I have to get a set sealed, and then I'm gonna have to rip open this set. So I, mm-hmm. I it's gonna be expensive and hard, but it is what it is. But I can't, yeah, I, I can't, can't do wait. it. I cannot keep sealed things. The only thing I can keep sealed is these back here sometimes, but I cannot keep Pokemon cards sealed. I have to rip them the second I get them. You keep pop sealed. I leave them all open to breed. Oh no, I didn't say I did. I keep them all sealed. I I have some loose ones back there. See, I don't like to see them. So I, I yeah, have, I see a I, few. I see well, a few. What packs do you think are going to be in these tins? Um, I'm going to say probably at least evolving skies because that's the set they're from. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to say battle styles and uh, chilling rain. Hmm. Which ones do you think? As much as I hate to admit it, I'm going to say probably Battle Styles. Um, I'm hoping we get Brilliant Stars in there. That would be awesome. And I that think that cool. I've been seeing a lot of uh, Sword and Shield base, like mm-hmm. just in stores, in, in some of like the tins and stuff. So I think we're probably going to get that at least. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's It's kind of hard to say. Man. Yeah. Yeah, I know sometimes you get you open it up and there's a sun and moon pack in there. I'm like, what where'd this come from? Mm-hmm. It's like, all right. No, and oh. it's it's it, it's weird because out of nowhere we got a cosmic eclipse like in some of the Pokeballs now. Um mm-hmm. so a bunch of people saying look on the bottom if you see D twenty one and that ball's gonna have cosmic eclipse in it. So that's that was really awesome. And cosmic eclipse is my favorite set, so I think Which... that was really cool. Also, we got some big news still on this TCG topic, but it involves Pokemon Go. So let's bring in a Pokemon Go expert to help us to weigh in on this subject. Everybody, welcome Mr. Gerald, our Pokemon Go field researcher expert. What up, Gerald? <laughs> What's going on, guys? How y'all doing tonight? Good. Really How good? are you, bro? I'm doing well, doing well. What's your uh, thoughts on that Pokemon Go TCG? Sorry, I cut you off. <laughs> You're good. I'm I'm hoping that it's gonna be a good set. Um, I think they're gonna definitely have some interesting trainer cards. I think they're gonna have, you know, the professor. He's gonna have his own card. I think the uh, three leaders. I think they're gonna be uh, showing up with the team rockets. Um, but I'm I'm hoping for a really good set. Um, You know, with it kind of mixing with the games, there is a chance that it will be a little bit, you know, a little corny-ish. But I'm I'm hoping for the best, though. Mm -hmm. You think it's going to look like uh, what it looks like on the game, where it has, like, the CP bar and all that kind of stuff on it? I don't know. Um, You know, I... I think that would be interesting. I think that would definitely add more appeal if you do play the uh, the game as well. You know that would that would definitely add that feature to it. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just really hoping for a really good set because I mean they've been putting out some really nice stuff lately. So mm-hmm. hopefully this follows in that trend. 
So what I'm thinking is, I don't know if it's going to be a full on set, like, you know, Evolving Skies or something. I'm thinking it's probably going to be some kind of promotional thing. Um, maybe something like in the lines of McDonald's or something like that, or like with Kellogg's like they did last year. Um, I'm thinking it's going to tie into the game. Maybe there's going to be like promo codes instead of having like TCG codes, it's going to be promo codes to maybe use in the game, maybe to unlock like a certain, I don't know, like Cleave or, or something like that. If we're going to get some kind of big update in Pokemon Go, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know if it's going to be a standalone set. I just think it's going to be a promotional thing, but I could be wrong. Like to take a Pikachu. From what I saw, it is going to be only six cards per pack. So that's definitely a, uh, you know, smaller than your standard pack. So, that, that mm. definitely is a possibility of, you know, kind of a standalone. Have they released anything besides just, hey, they were going to make this set, or have they shown off any cards or anything? Not that I've seen, not yet. Mm. I think the only thing I've seen is the the outside of the package. Who getting paid? <laughs> it's me. I'm <laughs> selling my merch, guys. Go check it out. It's <laughs> Sounds Pokey like someone getting paid. Payday. <laughs> right oh. oh my goodness um so what's going on in the world of pokemon go this week <clears throat> world well um tuesday we are going to have spritzy for the spotlight hour so that's running from six to seven on tuesday oh, on um uh, so what i was i just said i needed those so that's good to know yeah um wednesday uh, Reggie Steele is going to be taking over from where Reggie Rock was in the raid. Um, so that's going to be another exciting thing. I definitely got to buck down and get one of those. I ended mm-hmm. up getting two of the Reggie Rocks. Um, and then we do have the Hop Up uh, event coming up, the Community Day on the 12th. Okay. So that's definitely something to look into, get that shiny. So. Does it have a special move? What's the special move for the community? Yeah, when it when it evolves, it will be able to learn acrobatics. So oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's okay. that's definitely gonna be useful for that one. Joe, thank you for all that news in Pokemon Go. That was really awesome. Well, hey, I've got some more news for you. I see those Funkos on that wall behind you there, Jamie. Just mm-hmm. to let you know there's a rumor going around that there is a ten inch Lapras pop coming soon. Oh, wow. I can't grab that. Oh, when? When's it coming out? From what I heard, it's going to be somewhere in September. But as soon as I find out more of a concrete date, I would definitely let y'all know. Hmm. Oh, that's a good one. That's going to be exciting. So that means we're going to get a small version of Lapras as well. Maybe. Maybe. When are they going to do the six inch ones? You know what I mean? They got like the, they got the, what are those, like four inch ones? And then they got the middle ones and there's six inch ones. And then they got the 10 inch ones. They gotta do this, the six inch ones. Well, I want the 10 inch blast toys when they finally decide to buck down and get that one out. Mm-hmm. I got my 10 inch Charizard coming here soon. So I'll be displaying that on my new display whenever I get that. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, it was good speaking with y'all, man. Y'all have a great evening. You Later, too. man. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So we've been talking about Arceus. Have you caught any like alphas, any shinies, like anything interesting lately? So I haven't caught my, I haven't caught a shiny in Arceus. I did almost get a Bidoof. It ran away, disappeared after I threw a few balls at it. Um, But I've done a lot of trades like within like the community, especially with the Discord. Um, I trade with Relazoom. I needed a Jolteon, I traded with him. I got a trade for a shiny Ursa Ring. I traded that to him, so that was pretty cool. So with Alphas, I caught a Alpha Bud Dew. Um, let's see what else. Alpha Heracross. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I caught a Alpha Lop Bunny. But I'm sad that it's going to end soon. And I don't know. I hope we get DLC this year. Mm-hmm. It's not going to end after the story. It doesn't actually end. There's so much to do after the story, and there's an after story. So mm-hmm. there's like a whole other thing after the story. I don't really want to spoil it. Um, we'll wait for it. a couple of weeks to talk about it. You know, okay. Um, let everybody get in there because I I kind of powered through it and I beat the game. I just wanted to get the story 
done and get all the things open. So that way I like, I like going and catching and completing tasks. That's my favorite thing in Pokemon. So if, you know, I have, you know, I pick a Pokemon and I just go and I go right down the list. You know what I mean? Like if I've already caught it, I'll put it in my party. I'll put the moves that I need to on there. And then I'll just go start battling with things. Or if I need to catch more of them, I'll go and I'll right where they spawn and I'll keep catching them over and over again. So, hmm. and uh, it's actually, a, I have a tip for that. So if you wanting to get through those tasks quicker and get the stars like progress faster, do more than one. So like pick your battling Pokemon and then pick the Pokemon that you're going to battle to complete. So like, if you need to defeat 10 Bidoofs, but you need to see Raichu use Thunder 20 times, use Thunder on the Bidoof. So you're battling the Bidoof and defeating it, getting those points, and then you're using Thunder and you're catching those. So you're, you're completing two at once, basically. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So if you do it that way, it's easy. So I, a lot of sense. Yeah, I got eight stars. And once you get past like six it's it's a grind so doing it that way is really helpful okay so cool. yeah i can't i can't wait to to get at eight stars eight stars <laughs> yeah it's awesome, it's man. been Thanks a for that tip yeah it's been crazy um i also have a tip for alphas i've been catching okay. them without battling them yeah i know okay i i catch a lot of them without battling them now so um i actually saw this um i can't take credit for this all so i saw a TikTok and it was from uh voldo and i think it's his name you know who he is mm -hmm. yes I know Twitch. Him. yeah um he put a video and he said to use the sticky barbs and when you're they're attacking you like they used to look the red eye and they're coming at you start throwing those at them if you can hit them three times you'll see like the blue come off of them they're stunned. You, you just them. run behind them and throw a Pokeball at them. Or I would throw an Ultra Ball. He said to, to do the uh, the second of the Heavy Ball. I can't remember what it's called. Like the Le Ledian Ball or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I use Ultra Balls. I don't like the Heavy Balls all that much because I have to get too close. So um, that or whenever you get past the certain point with the stars, get Jet Balls. The third um, variant of the like the um, feather ball. Mm -hmm. So it's like an ultra ball, but that style. Um, okay. Wait till you, they turn around. And if you're waiting in the grass, um, wait till they turn around and then throw it at them. I have caught all of them from, since I've been able to get the jet ball, I caught all of them like that. And mm -hmm. I've had no problem. Like level 70 alphas, I'm catching first ball I throw. So. Okay. That's yeah. awesome. So you actually don't have to battle them. You can just, you can try your luck and throw a ball at them at first. You know, if they pop out, they're going to, you know, if they're far enough away, they're not going to see you. So you can just do it again. But if they spot you the second they pop out that ball, you're going to have to battle them, you know, or do the sticky barb uh, trick. So, but that's how you catch them. I mean, I've caught, um, oh boy, I've got uh, Magikarp. I got Gyarados. I caught both of those uh, alphas. I got the Heracross, Golem, um, Electrovire, uh, Lopany. I caught all of those using that trick. Hmm. Oh, Scyther was another one. I have an Alpha Cleavor now. So that's pretty sick. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I like that's probably one of my favorite ones in the new one is probably Cleavor. I like him a lot. Um, but yeah, that's. That's my trick, my ticks and tricks. How I've been playing my game. <laughs> I've just been trying everything I can to make it easier. No, I, I've I've been seeing a bunch of screenshots in the Discord, and everybody's been loving it and posting all their uh, all their shinies, all their alphas. It's it's been awesome. Um, we even have a question from the Discord. Oh, okay. So we got a question. So one second, let me pull it up. So this is from TCG Jake. He's a really awesome guy. If you guys haven't checked out his content, go check out his content. He's on Instagram. Super funny, very informative. He asks, what got you into Pokemon? Do you want me to go first? Yeah. Okay. 
Um, what got me into Pokemon? I have been playing since I was about ten. Um, I got, you know, Pokemon Blue for Christmas. Um, and I just been playing ever since. I fell in love with it the second I started playing it. Like, I couldn't get enough of it. <laughs> so I just it's helped me through so much. Like I I have anxiety and everything and Pokemon really helps me get through it. So and like it's just crazy that you know you don't see Pokemon everywhere, but then again you do. You know what I mean? Like I've made so many friends just playing Pokemon. So it's really something special in my life. So what about you? Well how'd you get into it? Um so when I was a kid, kind of the same story. Um I didn't really have too many friends growing up. Um and then I started collecting the cards after I watched anime and seen the movie. Um I didn't have money for a Game Boy. My parents never got me a Game Boy. So I haven't played the games when I was a kid. Um but you know, when we go to like church or whatever or go hang out to like cousin's house or something like that. I would trade cards and try to build, you know, uh, build my team and stuff like that. So it w- it was really fun. And I did that for a long time. But then as I started to get older, like people would kind of make fun of me for that. So Damn. then during like the pandemic, and now that I have kids, I seen Pokemon cards and I was like, I'm going to buy some, you know, I'm going to buy some and show my kids like what I used to, what I used to play with. So I got them binders and stuff like that. So I recently got back into it, like at the start of the pandemic. And it's just been such such a positive experience, like meeting all these people, making so many connections, uh, building all these friendships. And I think that that's what Pokemon is about, you know, uh, trading cards or trading Pokemon and building friendships and like mm-hmm. just like evolving in general. And so I don't know, it's it's awesome I, and I love it. I'm very thankful for it. So yeah, Pokemon's the reason why we're friends. So right, right. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm I'm very happy. So I'm very mm-hmm. thankful for for Pokemon and everything that's been going on the past few years. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe, like, follow, check us out on Discord if you haven't already. We do a bunch of giveaways. We have an awesome community of people and everyone is super friendly. Thanks so much. Have a good day. See ya.